the trick isn't so much the leader or everyone thinks there's somebody who's working you know on one person uh, the trick is is the group it's uh, the person who's the most influential is the person who's most like you The system itself is not based on drugs, it's not based on hypnosis, which is what the Maturing Candidate had tried to suggest to the public. Um, Maturing Candidate was a great movie, but its system was a fable. Uh, that level of hypnosis has never existed, and people are not robots. In fact, when you've been subject to brainwashing, you still have freedom of choice. Uh, you, but your choices are based upon what you believe. That's how we make choices. And your beliefs have been changed. And your allegiances have been changed. Your family has been changed. And therefore you will choose based upon your new family, your new values, your new allegiance, and your new beliefs. It actually has been proven, and, and Lifton had said it, and, and uh, uh, another author, Sargent, said it, it works better outside of prison. Prison was actually a problem. Uh, thought reform began with Mayo converting China to communism in China. And what he had learned through process of trial and error was then used in the prisons. But it was initially used in the universities in China. And you had people being told that they were sick and they needed help and needed to be part of the new society who came voluntarily looking to change and have benefits. And under that state of mind, uh, transference and the success, brainwashing success was far greater than it was in prisons where people did not necessarily come in looking to change for benefits. So when you transform to the United States and our society today, when people come into groups already thinking, I want this, you know, they're halfway there before you ever begin. The trick isn't so much the leader or everyone thinks there's somebody who's working, you know, on one person. Uh, the trick is, is the group. It's uh, the person who's the most influential is the person who's most like you, who's maybe been there a year and a half. And he says to you, hey, you know, Paul, you know, I was kind of like you and, uh, you know, and uh, I had the same problems you did. And I got to tell you, man, it worked for me. And then everyone chimes in and everyone says how much they want this. And they all seem to be so happy and smiling and you kind of want that stuff. So it's the guy who's further along the programs that draws you in, not so much the leader who's spouting all the philosophy. It's the group pressure. Simple things like singing songs, simple things of going out and playing together. Uh, anything that bonds people together into a group and uh, then all you have to do is lead the group. It's what Freud called the herd instinct. Uh, and we are subject to it. We adopt to our environments. But at the same time, there's additional pressures. Uh, and that is, uh, the key is confession. We all have guilt. We all have things that we think we wish we hadn't done. We all think we hurt our mom or our brother or we did something wrong or dad did something wrong to me. And so two things that go on is, is to have the person build the confession. In, the, in, in, in Mayo's world, in universities, in the prison camps, the confessions were never good enough. It was go back and write more. You haven't confessed enough. And when you finally made your pure confession of what dad did to me and what mom did to me, the message is implied is that, you know, dad and mommy were never very good anyway. Denounce your dad, denounce your mom, we're your, we're your mom and dad now, and separate from your family, and this is a new family. And often, like the SLA and Manson, people are given new names um, uh, just to further. And then you put them in an outfit. You know, you shave their heads and big overalls, you all wear orange, you know, maybe it's polyester suits, whatever it is, 
so that you all start to look alike and, uh, and you bond stronger. But the confession, not only by you confessing are you giving yourself to the group, but the group now has intense knowledge of you. And they can use that information. And it's like, you ever go on a, on a first date, someone you got you know, a crush on, it's like you sit around for many hours and you talk about your personal experiences and confess your most intimate secrets and you bond and fall in love. Well, that's somewhat what happens in a, in a cult environment, although uh, in a dating situation, your date isn't saying, that's not good enough, I think you're worse than that. You know, and uh, you know, I don't think you're confessing enough. Now I want to hear the truth. Now, you know, that's not quite going on, but that's what goes on in in, uh, in brainwashing.